guys welcome back to my channel as you all can see I am in a different setup and that is my kitchen and today we are going to make a very easy and a bit healthy or you can make it unhealthy if you use oil too much but very simple tasty fish preparation so I put up this post on my Instagram story if you are not following me there go follow me there if you wanted to see a recipe of it and many of you guys said yes so today I am here sharing it with you and if you are new to the channel please don't forget to subscribe and now let's see how we make it so for this you will need fish fillet I use the basa fish fillet I buy most of my stuff from big basket so I'll give all the links of the things that I'm using and the best part of this is that it's a ziplock so you don't have to use this whole thing at once it's one kg I guess yes it's one kg but I just take out one fillet at a time and use it This comes as a long piece so we have to section it and I had used the remaining of this yesterday so I already have it cut. Now I'll put the rest in the freezer and let this defrost. I don't put in a microwave to get it defrost because it is very delicate and um, at times the fish gets cooked in the microwave so I'll just leave it naturally and at this time there's a very bad smell if you know means I'm not a very intense fish lover so you need to deal with that foul smell at this stage of preparation but once it's done nothing will be there trust me until the time the fish becomes ready to use we'll boil our vegetables well I like to include a lot of vegetables because it's healthy to have and since you are having only protein you need to pair it up with a lot of greens so I I generally use capsicum green yellow red anything that you find you like you can use and beans zucchini broccoli and uh, carrots and these are the things that even you'll get in the restaurants if you go for a baked fish or kind of thing so now let's boil our vegetables and keep them aside it's always good to boil your vegetables a bit because of the pesticides that are uh, used nowadays this is what my mom says you should always boil the things before eating and that is why i do it so let's do it so when I said boiling I don't mean like I boil the vegetables in water I just set this water to boil and then drop the vegetables and turn off the heat that is what I do as you can see the water is on boil now so I'll put my veggies in there I use just half a zucchini because it becomes too much if I use one and the carrot I have already peeled it so while it boils it will get softened a bit here goes our what is it I forgot and the beans broccoli yes I forgot the name yeah it's broccoli so I'll put everything inside now and just turn off the heat as you can tell like I'm filming myself so the presentation is not very perfect <laughs> but I hope you enjoy the recipe so now our fish is completely thawed and I have washed it with water as well it's very soft as you can see I don't add much of things into it there's just only a couple of things so I'll show it to you guys these are the uh, red onion powder and garlic powder from kitchen delight so I got this from Amazon and they have amazing flavor it's very convenient and even if you're making something batter fry kind of thing you can just add this into the batter and it will be a very tasty meal but I don't don't usually have batter fried item what I use this for uh, is with makna so you just fry the makna with a bit of ghee and then add these powders onto your makna trust me it tastes amazing just try it out and let me know if you liked it I'll include the links in the description box below so you can go get yourself one and save yourself from the misery of like cutting onions crying peeling garlic and those stuff so apart from these two powders i'll be adding a bit of uh, black pepper powder and some raw salt so let's mix everything in
it already smells so good trust me guys you should get this powders once and try it will make your cooking very simple and give you the exact same flavors that you'd achieve with the original vegetables and the best part they come with ziplocs too I'll use the onion powder a bit more than the garlic powder. Black pepper powder. Not much though. Make sure you coat it evenly and like cover all the areas. And the foul smell that I was talking about when the fish was raw, it's gone by this stage so you can relax. And some rock salt. You can add ordinary salt too. I'm just trying to be on the healthier side. So now that's it completely mixed we'll let it rest for like 10 to 15 minutes you don't need much so it's been like 10 15 minutes and now we'll fry the fresh heat up the pan add in a little bit of butter and more olive oil we put the olive oil so that the butter doesn't burn Once it's hot, add in the fish. You have to tilt the oil so that the entire fish gets cooked properly. I am trying to get the sides here because uh, sometimes they remain uncooked. So I have turned it over and as you can see some parts are already red and that means it has been cooked. For the time being I have put the heat to low so I'll cook it for a while and in that time I'll chop off my veggies which have been chilling in the water for a long time now. So my veggies are ready and as you can see the fish has also got a very nice color. In between while I was cutting the vegetables I was also flipping the fish um, over so that it gets cooked on both the sides. The fish is ready so we will now take a plate and move it to that.
and now a very important thing we'll just saute the vegetables in the leftover that's here so there's immense flavors and oil everything that you need to like saute those vegetables so we won't do it separately we'll just add it here as I said, I eat a lot of vegetables. Well, it's not necessary that you have to have so much. You can if you want to, you can also go with less. <sighs> Smells divine. Since the juice is from fish and all the flavors are still there, these vegetables won't like seem raw or bland to taste. They'll really taste awesome. Now I'll cover it with a lid and just keep it like 5 minutes or so, so the things just get together. So in the meanwhile that the veggies are getting cooked, I'll slice up this lemon. So my veggies are done and I'll put some of it on my plate, I don't take it entirely. I put some of it on my plate and once I finish that I come and have my veggies. Okay, so I'll leave these remaining veggies here. This is a dish in itself which I'll have later. I'll cover it up and leave it here. And let's go and have our exotic fish preparation which you can easily do at home. And now, let me dig into it. Bon appetit! Okay guys, let me finish this up and I'll see you guys soon again next week with some other thing. Definitely try this recipe out and tag me in your pictures if you have tried it and let me know how it goes. So see you again soon. Bye!